Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the video series of research methodology. We have uh, recently made a video, uh, by the way, not recent, <laughs> it's been a long time. Uh, we made a video in which uh, we go through the steps we, our journal went through once we submit it to uh, IEEE journal. Okay, so this video is like an next step to it, that is, it's going to show you what steps you have to go through once it gets accepted okay so uh, i'm not sure but i think this paper was under review or maybe at the awaiting decision stage one when i've made the last video so uh, it got rejected at 28th of june 2022 and in that video i also mentioned that none of my paper ever got from uh, accepted in the very first attempt they always go through at least in the second uh, stage so no problem uh those revisions are always good for your publications always good for your work uh, uh, you get the feedback from experts that that improves your work a lot okay so it got re it got into a reject and resubmit state right uh, i cannot show you the decision letter it's a bit personal i don't want to show my mistakes <laughs> so uh, so what happens is um it's uh, once the editor believes that according to the reviews uh, he or she received uh, your article is not up to the mark that they directly publish it but they believe it still has merit so they asked you to make some modifications and improvements that are recommended by the reviewer okay most of the time most of the time almost 99.9 percent .9 of the time reviewers highlight the pros and cons of your paper and they do suggest you how to improve it okay i cannot remember any article of mine that didn't went through uh, that stage means uh, uh, I didn't receive uh, the improvements suggested by uh, the the reviewers okay so uh, it always happens so what editor ask you is to make the major modifications that those reviewers suggested you and then resubmit the article after a few days okay in some journals you have a time limit to do that in some journals you don't have it in case of IEEE sensor letters they don't have any fixed time limit but but i remember i submitted an article in IEEE embedded system letters and they had an art uh, limit of around one month and uh, uh, after that they didn't allow me to resubmit the improved version so i had to go to an other journal anyhow so on 7th of july i submitted an updated version and it got accepted so here, so this is kind of a decision letter what you receive in your email. So this is actually the email which they send on your email addresses register on their portal, right? So here you can see that reviewer said addressed all the comments. Overall, the paper is interesting. I'm satisfied. So why I'm highlighting this is because I'm gonna link this thing to another stage ahead. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the set of emails. I didn't want to show that one by the way set of emails which you are going to receive and the steps which they will have okay let's go to there if I type the name of this journal and ignore that that voice was telling me to take my lunch break okay uh confirmation accepted for publication final submission complete i believe here is the first one so my pleasure to inform you that your article is accepted and now he's gonna guide you or she's gonna guide you what to do the very next step after this is to submit your final copy and that is done on the same portal okay so thanks for submitting no what kind of email that generates so this is the email you're going to receive after doing that okay where you want to have to do that you have to do that right here they will generate a tab for you to some uh, which would which would show you to submit the final copy okay uh, I have gone through that process so it's not showing that and not letting me to show you that stages but anyhow what you have to submit there are around three things one is the final copy of your graphical abstract which I don't think it's gonna change 
uh, until unless they ask you to do because uh, all of my papers which ever got published those who demanded the abstract uh, the same copy was submitted okay and i never received any comments on those second thing uh, in case in case you you are asked to make some modifications here do that and submit the modified copy in case you don't have you are not asked like in my case they didn't ask me both were satisfied submit the same pdf right and the third thing which you have to submit is the project of latex which you have created for for writing your article right or in case you're working on word submit the word file so that the editor can make modifications and improvements in that and that is called proofs now i'm going to show you what this proofs means and uh, and that stage as well so well after doing this you will be asked uh, to do another step that is to sub transfer your copyrights to copyright transfer to your copyrights to IEEE okay so what happens at this stage is that you have two options one is that either you retain the copyrights of your article or second is that you give the copyrights to IEEE so in case of retaining the copyrights you have to pay the uh, open SS fee that is around two thousand dollars two thousand US dollars okay which is a significant amount in Pakistan it it's around four lakh rupees more than four lakh rupees which is very significant and usually we so usually we don't get that much funding in, in our country so we go for the second second stage second is to call, give the copyrights to IEEE that means that IEEE this is the agreement you have to sign and it's going to be uh, signed online how you will be directed to this you will be directed to this from a link that would be appearing here you click that and you will be directed to the copyright form all you need to do is is to write your sign and read it and submit and this will allow you to share the preprints with others without letting IEEE know but mentioning the line on the top of the uh, of that preprint that this is the copyrights now belongs to IEEE and uh, if you want to cite cite the original article okay so that is the case now after doing this IEEE is going to retain the copyrights and once you do that your copy of the paper would start appearing in IEEE within one to two days in early assess category of that journal so what is early assess I show you that so I go to the same journal because I'm taking it as a case study for this video right okay let's wait for it we go here this is the journal uh, where I published my last article and uh, early assess category. Early assess means the article which you submitted as the final copy one, which is not edited by the editor. Okay, so it's going to appear here. Once the editor makes his or her changes, you will be uh, informed about that. Okay, and you will be informed in the form of an email. I don't want to show this again and again. I turn it off. I'm sorry about that. So let's go back and uh, let's see it's going to be received to you with this name WMS Pro so basically this is another portal of IEEE which handles the editing stuff okay so first you're going to receive this and then you will ask you to create an account on authorgateway.ieee.org well if you don't have an account then you have to create one I already have done that because I've published more than one paper so I log into it so this is pretty much it okay um, I cannot show you the kind of a page it looks like when um, when your paper is being processed by it because uh, none of my papers in, in is currently at that stage they are in they are completed but you will be directed to dashboard and then you will receive the, the proofs or the edited copy by the editor within around two weeks you have to download that and check whether it's properly um, edited or not and there will be some queries that would be highlighted as a keyword queue at different stages of your paper 
those will be queries by the editor. If you believe that version which is edited by the editor is fine, you need to click the button that would be appearing in the mid of the screen uh, that is approved without more modifications. Click on that and then that's it. Okay, that version of the copy would be published as a final version uh, to IEEE But if you have some problems, uh, you believe some things need to be changed and uh, uh, and you want to answer those queries, you cannot submit the updated version here. Okay, you cannot do that. You have to submit a file that would be a Word document answering the queries of the editor and also mentioning the changes you want. Then it would go towards the first stage kind of a stage again. And then you have to wait to receive the next proofs which you, which you are going to receive very quickly around one to in one or two days. And once you receive that you and you believe it's final, click that tick mark and then you will receive the next email. That is about the article processing charge. Or article processing fee. Okay, let me show you that one as well. I believe there will there will be no such uh, detailed video on YouTube. So, so if you you are liking it, so give it a thumbs up, share with your peers, share with PhD students, master students. This is going to be helpful for those because I remember the first time I was going through this, it was pretty hard. I was figuring out what the stage is and have I made any mistake or not okay so this was will be the stay uh, email you will be receiving so if you click here which I'm not going to do because I have gone through this page you will be directed to a page which will ask you whether you want to give volunteer charges or not in case you want to do that uh, that is around 175 dollars per page well usually people do that because uh, when they have pretty good amount of funding but that is usually not the case with Pakistani students unfortunately so what you should do there is you click on the option not submitting volunteer charges and then your uh, the receipt will be generated let me show you the receipt I have one with me this is kind of a receipt which will show you that your bill is zero dollars click the submit button and that's it you have done all the things steps that were required from you after a few days the paper would be published inside the current assess issue right and now this is my paper it's appearing here it is this is its uh, graphical abstract and that's it your paper is congratulations at this if you are at the stage your paper is published and available on IEEE explore right and uh, after this will appear on IEEE, you will receive an email around one to two days after this stage. And this, let me show you, I just got it from here. This would be mentioned there. The details in which issue it is appeared and details and DOI, etc. That's it. This completes the pro publishing process. Okay, thank you very much for watching the entire video. Uh, if you like it, give it a thumbs up, do subscribe the channel, do share the videos with your friends and do let me know how I can improve those. Right? Thank you very much. Bye-bye.